Hey guys, Max here from MaxFinder.com. So in this video, I wanna share with you guys one of the most transformational tools you'll probably ever encounter in your life, which is scripting your perfect day in advance. Most people are living so unconsciously, so unten unintentionally, their day-to-day -day lives, right? They're waking up and they're just kind of going through the motions, right? They're just kind of adapting to the demands of the outside world, right? Most people feel like, you know, sort of the, the, the ship without a rudder and stranded in the middle of the ocean, right? Just subject to the wind, subject to the ocean, subject to the water around them, right? Rather than being able to actively, you know, set the sails and control the direction of their lives, right? This is a problem that I notice with so many people I talk to, right? They feel like they're always just, you know, not really in control of their own lives, right? And so most people understand the importance of setting long-term goals, right? Of setting long-term objectives of, I wanna build that business, I wanna run a marathon, I wanna do this, right? But very few people understand the power of actually connecting that then to day-to-day -day lives, right? To actively those 24 hours right in front of you, right? which really is the way, that's the place where we're living, right? And so many people say, oh, I wanna be a millionaire, right? I wanna build that business, I wanna run a marathon, I wanna lose weight, but they don't, don't focus on, what are the 24 hours in front of me, right? That if I take control of those, I'm gonna achieve that end result, right? And so one of literally the most powerful tools I've ever encountered is scripting my perfect day in advance, right? So what I do now is every single night before going to bed, I'll literally script, not minute by minute, but close to it, right? What exactly I'm gonna do the next day, right? So for me, it's, you know, five, uh, four, sorry, 4.59, right? It's waking up, right? It's at like before five, literally within the first minute of the day, it's taking a cold shower, right? Then it's visualizing my goals, right? Setting my objectives for the day, right? Really, you know, then it's some anything from studying to, you know, working out to meditation, whatever it is, shooting these videos, right? Today, this morning, I started at 4.30, right? Shooting these videos and I love it, right? But the reason it's powerful is because of a term called ego depletion, which is nothing else but sort of a lack of willpower. It's another term for lack of willpower. The thing is, willpower, what happens is it's a limited resource, right? Meaning it's almost like a life bar in a video game, right? Every single decision, what research has shown, every single decision that you make throughout the day takes away some of your willpower, some of that precious you know, energy fuel, right? Which means that if you left, right? If you don't have any willpower left, you left in a state of ego depletion, where basically you're just not able to make good decisions anymore. This is key here, because what happens then is when you run out of willpower, you're just making bad decisions, right? That's when, especially at night, people eat junk food, people you know, start watching movies, people stop going to gym, stop interacting with other people in a loving way, right? That's when it, people always engage in those negative habits, right? And so what happens then is if you don't schedule your day in advance, what happens is you kind of randomly wake up, right? And you're like, what should I do now, right? What should I eat? How should I get dressed? How should I get to work, right? What should I do at work? If you haven't scheduled those things yet, what it means is at any moment throughout the day, you have to make these little decisions and every single one of those decisions takes away some of that willpower, which means that actually, you know, having too much freedom of choice takes away completely your ability to choose because you're just losing willpower left and right everywhere you go, anytime you make a decision, right? Which then means that your ability to be disciplined, to achieve your goals is severely limited. And so as Jocko Willing said, discipline equals freedom. I love the quote because to a very large degree, your ability to set goals, to set a very concrete schedule in advance, to be disciplined around that, then allows you freedom because it doesn't take much willpower anymore, right? It doesn't take motivation anymore. Like for me this morning, 4.30, waking up, shooting these videos here, it didn't take willpower. It didn't take motivation to get up because I was literally, was on the schedule, right? So I'm just gonna follow through on it. And so literally one of the most powerful things you could ever start doing in life is every night before you go to bed, just think about within the logical constraints of tomorrow's day, how can I live the happiest, the most productive, the most loving, the most amazing and blissful day that I can possibly live, right? And then planning around that, right? Planning all the major things in your life, right? And most people understand this for business, for example, right? They have all their you know meetings and their schedules, right? But then when it comes to our personal lives, most people don't bring the discipline to actually actually schedule um, exactly what they're gonna do, right? 
Elon Musk, for example, um, founder of Tesla, um, he's, he's really one great example of this because what he does is he literally breaks this down in five, time down in five minute intervals, right? So every five minutes of his day are literally scheduled out. So there's no waste of time. There's no decision fatigue, right? There's no you know, time where he's like, oh, I don't know what I should be doing, but like he literally knows what he's doing, which then kills the need for willpower, right? Because you've already made up your mind. This is so powerful, right? So literally it's getting, how are you gonna wake up, right? What are you gonna do? What is the breakfast maybe you're gonna have? Maybe putting out your work, like your clothes the night before so you don't have to make the decision, right? Scheduling, okay, what's the first thing I'm gonna tackle at work? And the second thing, and the third thing, right? What are the things? Scheduling your workout, right? If you wanna work out 6 p.m., actively putting that in your calendar, right? It's like 6 p.m., I'm gonna run 10K around my house, you know, on this route, right? Because what happens then is, when that moment comes, you're not gonna make those excuses, right? You're not gonna be like, oh, I, now I, I found something else, right? Because oftentimes people just react to those outside fake emergencies, right? They're like, oh, this email, I gotta respond to that, and now I gotta do that, and oh, and shoot, now I feel tired, or shoot, maybe, maybe I ate something now because I was kinda hungry, and now I, my stomach hurts, I can't run, right? What happens is when you schedule your day in advance, all of those excuses vanish because you literally just know you have that game plan for those 24 hours in front of you. So guys, I really just wanna encourage you to take control of the 24 hours in front of you because that's essentially the only time you have to live here, right? We live day by day and as we craft our days, so we live our lives, right? And so just really taking control of those 24 hours in front of you and how you're gonna approach those and how you're gonna live those is so key, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button below to get more videos like this on mental mastery, what it takes to live an epic life. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.